Yes, yeah, Sparks Glencoe, Maryland is Owen Bell. Went to Hereford High School. State champion as a senior. We might be looking cradle here starting the match early for Burnett. He's going to try to break him over to that left, sh that left shoulder. He's getting the lock here. We're going to go head around for a three-point takedown to start off the match here at 125 pounds. First time saying three-point takedown on a live call, Steve. <laughs> Burnett looking claw. Close to getting some swipes here. Slips in that left leg. Getting Bar close here to some swipes. Ref shaking his head. Nothing quite yet. Barnett. Here we go. We got the first swipes. Two-time All-American is Barnett. Two-time Scholar All-American, which is just as important. Three-time Academic All-Big Ten. And, and uh, Jake, we talked a little bit about this match off the air, and it's very important for the Badgers to get bonus points in this one. We think this is going to be a really close duel, and this is a huge one. So important here in these duels. Barnett slips to the side here again, getting some more swipes. And we might see a quick tech fall here if it keeps going this way. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I, it, taking a look, I haven't uh, done a deep dive yet of how many with the three-point takedown has has the number of technical falls increased so far uh, in, in uh, college wrestling. And there's another four-point near fall. That brings the score up to 11. Barnett, one of those guys that just seems to get stronger and stronger as the year goes on. And there's the first point for Stalling. Makes it 12-0 here with short time left in the first. Closing in on 10 seconds. Barnett looking, looking for another turn here at the end of the period. He just needs a three count. And that will do it, folks. There's the technical fall for Eric Barnett. Four more will go on the board, and that will be a 16-0 technical fall in the first period. And the Badgers are off to a hot start. And they'll take the lead 5-0 here after match number one. And we are off at 141 pounds. Latini out of Clark, New Jersey, St. Peter's Prep High School, Bauer, Williamsport, PA, Williamsport Area High School. A couple ties here and there, but clearing out to space right away. We'll see who can get a leg attack. And there's a shot there for Latini. Latini with a quick breakdown. Team's got to do two things here. Obviously, looking to score, but even just as important is as uh, getting that riding time under a minute. Oh. Yep, and so he, he cuts him loose here, so puts a point on the board. Trying, and there's a shot there for Latini. Beautiful single leg, kind of knee pull action. But oh, good, good wizard and just kind of overpowers wow. yeah, Latini. Just like pushed right into him, didn't he? Pushed right into him and almost getting some back points here. Good he finds transition. himself right into a tilt. Fantastic transition wrestling for Bauer. He gets that wizard and just kind of hips in, runs the feet. Looking like Bauer will take this one five to nothing. Big win for Bauer in, in Bucknell. I think this is uh, not necessarily one they had to have, but you know the, the dual meets come down to those toss-up matches, right? It's not always your studs. It, it's the guys not getting bonus points against the studs, and then it's the who's going to win the toss-up matches, and Bucknell takes the first one. Yep, Braden Bauer with the victory here, 5-0. And for these fans, this is the one they wanted to see, right? Many of them uh, about 20 miles away got to watch Nicolai Rivera uh, go at it for four years and just a real fan favorite with his wrestling style. Uh, Nicolai was able to win this one. Kurt Phipps, a solid wrestler from Norwin High School in, out of Irwin, Pennsylvania. And right away, Rivera to the legs, going out the back door here, trying to single off to one leg. Maybe put Phipps in danger here. Working here, Phipps kind of got a weird lock on the, the arm here. Locked around the head. Kind of a strange position. See what wrestler can come out on top of this one if we see a stalemate. And we're calling. Oh, a danger. And there's okay. three-point takedown for Phipps. And looking maybe some near fall here is Phipps. Got that cross wrist tilt. Now he got a couple swipes, yeah. And we're getting some swipes here. And four-point near fall is awarded, so that brings the lead to 7-0. Phipps was a national qualifier last year. Does have six wins over nationally ranked opponents in his career. And a nice reversal there for Rivera. He's dangerous from a whole bunch of positions. You can never get lazy. you got to stay, stay on the attack against Rivera. And there's a good reversal there to put him on the board, his first two points of the match. That one ignited the crowd, didn't it? Got plenty of space on the edge, and there's reversal right to the back. No, no near fall awarded, but two point reversal brings the score to nine to two here with 23 left in the first. And Phipps with that Turk caught the head, getting some swipes here to end the first period. 
And refs holding four or three. And we're going to close out the first period here. Three more points go on the board for Phipps, and that will bring the score to 12 to 2 with a minute nine of riding time. Rivera looking clawed, jumping sides here. Phipps up to his feet. Big mat return for Rivera. But Phipps doing a great job of floating yeah. the hips. He's going to get a reversal right to the back. He holds it and here. he's looking fall here. And there's oh, the fall for big. number 20, Kurt Phipps. The senior out of Norwin High School, he gets the fall over Nicolar Rivera. And Bucknell's on the board. They'll take a one-point lead, 6-5. to five. Was high in the national rankings, so excited to see him here take the mat as a freshman ranked in the country. Won the Clarion Open a few weeks ago, so a pretty good start for his freshman season. Gavin Medell, 7-2 and two on the year. So this will be a great matchup here at 165 pounds. Kick over here, maybe get a little wizard tilt. See who wins this scramble. Mulvaney's really working for it, and he's close to getting it, and there it is. He's got it locked up. Ref is counting near fall. Big points here for Mulvaney. There's a full, there's a three count to go with the three-point takedown. Mulvaney sounds like he's got a lot, of, a lot of fans in the crowd here. One year out, removed from high school. Uh, he's got Mirasola. Those are guys that are, uh, one's going to Missouri, the other one's going to Penn State. One and two in the country. Nice ankle pick there for Mulvaney. Extends his lead nine to one. And locks that cradle up. Ooh, trying to put himself in a danger position there with that cradle. Using that arrowhead cradle is Mulvaney. Po contact falls out and just pops that bad boy in. Very impressed by that. I have a hard enough time putting my contacts in. And there's the escape from Adele. Will be interesting to see if Mulvaney stays on attack. And as I say, that big shot there. And very quickly gets the two a little defense there for Modell, but nothing doing, and that's the three-point, and that'll be 12 to two now with a minute 26 left here in the second. Mulvaney's old high school coach actually on the in-house announcer, Randy <laughs> Farrell, so. Is it, imagine he's having a hard time sitting still watching this one, right? Yep, also on the Badgers from Arrowhead is Josh Otto. So no Bucknell's a few states away, right? Looking forward to that. 197 pound matchup with an all Wisconsin match. And there's another. Vaney will go neutral here to start the third period. A takedown will end it, and that will do it, folks. Three point takedown, ankle pick, 18 to 3 technical fall <laughs> for the freshman out of Wisconsin, Noel Mulvaney. And big points there for Mulvaney, for Bucknell. Uh, his highest place finish was eighth, but obviously in that tough Pennsylvania. Uh, state tournament with two divisions. Doing a good job in ties. No real leg attacks here in the first. We got 52 seconds left in the, and there's a takedown for Delp right to the back. And refs gonna be counting some swipes here. These Bucknell dudes are doing a great job of scoring points and catching people on their back. Really transition well. Delp with that, throws that right leg in right away. Jumps cradle. Meckler up to his feet. But wow, big way to start. Oh, and there's nice a reversal. reversal. Two-point reversal makes it 7-2 to two now. And we got a good little 20 seconds there of action with 20 seconds, 23 seconds left here in the first period. Just trying to do the math here. He rides this one out. It's going to have over two minutes of riding time. You know, it's it, – well, okay, I think he's got secure. I was just thinking that uh, just, so, just being able to ride him out, you're going to need a little bit more than that. You're going to need a couple takedowns. Takedown here late in the second would be really good. And he gets to a leg attack here out the back door on the edge trying to isolate a leg. See if he can't get something going here with 20 seconds left. And we've seen this position quite a few times today. And possibly some danger here. Just got to hold him there. And he there's got three, three points. That's a three-point takedown for Meckler to end, and we're going to go challenge Brick is thrown for Bucknell. This is where that early season condition is going to come into play. You know, we'll see what guys have again. And there's a shot there for Meckler. Yeah, deep. Single leg, but good oh. defense. Tricky defense there for Dell. There it is. Able to slide himself into a high crotch and picks up the three-point takedown, and his lead now extends to 11-5. to five. Once again, that Bucknell wrestler just being able to transition wrestle and score off his opponent's aggressive or offensive tactic. And there's stalling on the top man. First of the match. I believe both wrestlers now have a stall call. And Meckler's going to get out here with 38 to go. He still does have riding time, a minute nine. And he's going to pick up another victory with short time. And that will do it at 157 pounds. 
Nick Delp, the senior out of PA, picks up the victory 11 to seven over Luke Meckler. And we're gonna bump up to 165 pounds out of South River, New Jersey, Bergen Catholic High School Wrestling Powerhouse Chapel out of Bonner Springs High School. I had a few pins in there. A couple here and there. I would. I didn't have that. I had you more of as a, uh, a clubber and a pinner, but you were a <laughs> takedown guy, huh? And kind of just keep that effort high through all the different positions. You're going to score points. You're going to be in a really good position to win. Zargo here starting the period on top. Good ride. Chapel up to his feet. And we've got an escape for the first point of the match. Scrambling is one of the, the best parts of the sport. Keeps it entertaining. Love a good scramble. And there's another shot for Zargo. He goes low single here. He brings it up. Great position. Treetop finish. Wow. And there's three points for Zargo. He takes the lead right into a cradle. More than likely will cut him. Go back to work on the feet. He'll be down by three if Zargo gets the escape. And there he does. So four to one is the score. Takedown ties it up. Riding, riding time is not a factor in this one. And right away, shot there for Zargo. Starting to run the corner. He switches off to that single leg. He's got the cradle locked. Nothing yet. On the edge, there's three. Whips it over. Oh, wow. Good Nothing. action on the edge here. Zargo remains in control. We're going to go out of bounds. Kiefer Chapel, though, as he was in that cradle position twice, looked like it was locked up really tight, but both times was able to not give up near fall points. And there's the escape, 7-2. Just a second away from riding time. And there's two po three wow. points for Zargo. 10 to 2. Riding time now in favor of Zargo. Joseph Zargo, number 18 in the country, gets a big major over number 31, Dylan Chapel. Of Mineral Point High School. Kind of interesting, uh, legal out of River Valley High School and Springer out of Mineral Point High School. Both were uh, Curtis Fiedler, Wisconsin uh, well-known coach in high school. He is now coaching at Mineral Point. Springer doing a good job of locking up that, that left arm, but now able to finish off kind of low single. And he picks up three right away as legal, and he takes the lead 3-0 here. And Springer's just going to cut right away. He's going to have to get to work on the feet. Uses that old international start. 52 left here in the third. Kind of a half shot there for Springer. Nothing doing. And nice. Eagle looking for, still for some points. Close to getting that pick. Oh, wow. Good action. And that will do it here, folks. At 197 pounds, a big win for the Badgers. Shane Legal gets the victory 5-0 over Nolan Springer of Bucknell. And the team score now 24-17, heading into the final match of the afternoon. He comes back to the home state for his final season. Crazy thing about Mailer is this is his sixth season, Jay. That COVID year is coming into play. I believe this is his first match for the Badgers. Single right away, brings it high. Going. And there's three right away, wasting no time. 16 seconds into this one. Cradle's locked up. Mailer's going big. The coaches are loving it. Can he get the fall here? And there's the <laughs> fall for the Badgers. Mailer with a pin, wasting no time. A big fall for the senior, Max Mailer. Wow, listen and to this the crowd, crowd is folks. loving it. 10 and 5 on the year, a freshman. And to use that over, <laughs> overly used phrase, this is a must-win situation. I have a feeling it won't take long. Hamney's able to score points from just about every position. Very relentless. Attacks, 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 and we can see it here early. He's not wasting any time. Jack, it's a lot of matches in already. 15 in this early 2003, 2000, oh, 2003, 2003, 23, 24 season. Hammony received his Big Ten championship ring before the duel. That was pretty sweet, huh? That was sweet to see. And there's a shot there for Tackett's, but you see just the, the great defense for Hammony. Locks him up, has him on his back. We're looking fall, and I think he's got it. That's it. And there's the pin. Six points on the board for Hammony. Little celebration blows a kiss to the crowd. And that's big for the Badgers. 
tightens the team score. And we're off here at 285 pounds, the final bout of the afternoon. Crosby, one of those Pennsylvania state champs, 2020. Peter Christian, oh good. Jake. Front, front, ooh, it was a little bit of action here, front headlock there for Christensen, but. Even tougher than that, I think, was placing at the Ironman tournament a couple of times. Ironman's one of the toughest high school tournaments in the country, single leg here for Crosby. Christensen doing a good job of keeping that leg straight, blocking so he can't, and there, a little cradle attempt there, but Crosby able to just run through and get the three. Goal number one for Christensen's gotta be to break that riding time, get it under a minute. We'll see what his game plan is here if he commits to the ride. Crosby up to his feet, fighting that claw, so he gets it. Seven seconds still. Left so on tough that to keep time. those big men down. A three-point takedown to right back in it now. And there's a nice, nice. little high, high single there for Crosby. Brings it up high right away, has it on the outside. He goes head to trip. Nice back trip. And that's three points, so seven to zero now is your score. And this is a textbook shot there. Bring it up high, catch there, find the head. Catch the ankle, a little trip, and boom, there's your three points. And he's going to cut them and start looking for some bonus points maybe here. And that's an escape. Is a number 12 seed back in 2018. Be Joey McKenna of Ohio State in the semis and ended up losing to Nick Lee of Penn State in the finals. So Bucknell trying to get that program back on, obviously getting those qualifiers. Now trying to get a few more guys on the podium. And here Crosby got that low single going. Trying to keep Christensen. We'll see. We got that leg hooked. Close to getting two. Pops the head out. And I said two. I mean three. <laughs> and we've got Christensen to go down here to start the third period. He's going to have to get something going here if he wants to win this one. And Crosby is just going to cut him and get the back. Get, get right back to work on the feet here. In the last minute and 40 seconds here, can you score some points? Can you end this thing with momentum on your side? And there's another takedown for Crosby. That's three. Coach is in the corner for Bucknell saying, shoo, get him, let him up. Let's keep working on the feet. But yeah, I like what you're saying. Christensen, just stay on the tack, maybe sneak a takedown in there and end this match on a positive note. And there's kind of a shot there for Christensen, but Crosby's just going to slip around for another three. As a four. 16 to three. I just want to see how your guys, when they're down, how they're going to react. Are they going to come back? Do they got that toughness just to keep on battling? And there's another three points, and that will do it. 19 to 4 is the final here at heavyweight. The senior out of Cathedral Prep High School, Dorian Crosby, gets the victory over the redshirt junior, Peter Christensen.